American comedian, singer, actress, and TV producer Carol Crichton Burnett was born on 26 April 1933 in San Antonio, Texas, and is still probably best known as the host of the long-running show, The Carol Burnett Show, which aired on CBS in the 1960s and 70s, although she has made many other notable appearances on both TV and film, as well as in live shows. So, just how rich is Carol Burnett? As of early 2017, Celebrity.Money estimates that Carol has a net worth as high as $25 million, accumulated during a career in the entertainment industry which now spans over six decades, since her debut on TV in 1955. Carol had a really difficult childhood with a dark background, as she was born to alcoholic parents and was not the happiest child, although actually raised by her grandmother, M.E. White, and moving to an apartment near Hollywood. Her situation improved when she discovered her acting talent during her college years, although she couldn't think she would ever seriously work as an actress, despite having had such a great dream since childhood. Carol matriculated from Hollywood High School and then began studying journalism at UCLA, courtesy of a gift, but switched to acting as part of the writing program. She was then sponsored to move to New York, where after a year auditioning, Burnett made her debut on TV in 1955, appearing in The Paul Winchell and Jerry Mahoney Show. Only the beginning of Burnett's bright career and net worth. Carol had several minor roles in the shows before appearing in the famous The Gary Moore Show together with Duard Kirby and Gary Moore. Definitely Carol's breakthrough performance, which also increased her net worth considerably, especially as she became a regular until 1962. Subsequently, she became known for her appearances in such movies as Once Upon a Mattress, Pete and Tilly, Get Bruce, Annie, and Postgrad, among many others. However, none compared with The Carol Burnett Show, in which Carol starred together with Vicki Lawrence, Tim Conway, Harvey Corman, and Lyle Wagner, which made her a household name in the U.S. The show ran from 1967 to 1978, winning 23 Emmy Awards, among many others, and maintaining its popularity with audiences because of the varied mixture of humor, satire, and slapstick. So, contributing significantly to Carol's bank account. Concurrently, she was the first star to appear on Sesame Street in 1969 after ingratiating herself with the TV audience. Her own show was hard to follow, but Carol frequently guest starred in TV series including All My Children, Mama's Family, and Mad About You, as well as appearing on the Broadway stage in Moon Over Buffalo in the mid-90s and putting it together in 2000. Carol is still active in the entertainment industry. More recently, in 2014, she participated in The Colbert Report, created by Ben Carlin, Stephen Colbert, John Stewart, and John Antonietta, and has an annual recurring role in Hawaii Five-0. In her personal life, Carol is married three times, firstly, to college boyfriend Don Saran from 1955 to 1962, then to Joe Hamilton, a TV producer, from 63 to 84, with whom she had three daughters. Since 2001, she has been married to musician Brian Miller, 23 years her junior. They continue to live in Los Angeles. 